What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will finally update the character mesh. It's going to be a very easy build to follow so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so I am going to be using this pirate free asset pack from the marketplace and I know, pirate? What that makes sense with our Assassin's Creed oriented RPG series. Well, there's this uh, model, right, which has really cool clothing that we can add into this RPG and because we have an armor system, I think that they can integrate pretty neatly. So I'm going to be linking this in the description. Again, it's totally free in the marketplace, so just add this to your Epic Games launcher. Once it is on your Epic Games launcher, we can simply go search for it and add it to the project. So we can search for it, select our RPG tutorial series project, and then click on add to project. And of course, if we are in 5.3, we should not have any problem. And there we go. It has added, I can close, and I'm now back in the project. So now if I take a look at the content browser, I should have a new folder, which is pirate. And here we go. So now if I enter in mesh UE5 and go into the full body, we can see that we have a couple of them. And this is the one that I was mentioning. I think that this is a pretty cool, you know, character that we can use for our RP series, right? It is like the basic character and then on top we add armor and all this stuff. And as I mentioned before, it is under the UE5 rig, so we can directly implement it. So if I go into the third person folder, go to blueprints and open the third person character blueprint, I can open up the viewport, select our mesh, and bye bye Manny. <laughs> this mannequin has gone through all the, what, 70 something episodes, but it's time to go. So I'm gonna go select the skull to mesh asset, search for our one and assign it. So it's gonna be easier if I press control space, go and find the paired folder, go to mesh UE5, remember, make sure it's UE5, go to full, right, as we want the whole body, and drag this SKM Pirate Full 03 into here. And boom, now we have it like this. Now we have the other materials, so let me go and kinda refresh it, and boom, there we go. So if now I compile, save, and press play, we have finally our RPG series character in place. And of course, we can use whatever other character you want, right? I'm using this one because, well, it looks pretty cool. But if you want to use a metahuman, go ahead. But um, in this case, I'm not going to be using the metahuman because I think that it's better if we use one of these characters which kind of has this Assassin's Creed RPG elements, right? Like this claw thing and things like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and of course, if now I go and pick up, you know, other stuff, right? And uh, go to the light sword, you can see that it is broken. Why? Well, this is because we don't have our old mesh sockets, right? So what we can do is the next thing. So what we're going to do is let's go to the third person character. And instead of directly replacing the mesh for the character, what I'm going to do is basically control Z, okay, until we go back to the, okay, actually I cannot control Z, but, but I'm going to go and select back many, all right, which should be many simple, let's get this out of the way, and I'm going to go ahead and we can leave the, um, you know, I mean, you could put back the blue material if you want, right, so this will be blue too, and this will be many blue one, and I know that it is blue two first and then one it's just <laughs> that when we started the series we did it incorrectly but it's okay and you can see that now we're back to normal right i can pick up the sword and the socket will be correctly placed but what we can do is add as a child another skeleton mesh which will be that pirate full zero three and i'm gonna call it um well not pirate mesh but just overall character mesh right with a space so it's a bit neater right and it would already have the these uh, full 03 applied. Why? Well, that's because in the content browser, I have it selected, that's why. If not, you can do exactly what we did before, which is manually add it. Then, what I gotta do is leave the anion class like this, compile, save, and basically go to the construction script. And in here, we haven't done anything yet, but the construction script basically will execute code uh, also in the editor viewport, so not only on game, but it will be constantly updating this. So what we can do is go and search for our main mesh, right? Drag this 
and call this other node, which is the set leader post component. And then I'm gonna change the target to be the leader post component, which will be the mesh. And then I can drag in this character mesh as the target. And now if I compile, go back to the viewport, we can see that this child character mesh is following the exact animations that our parent. So this is called real-time retargeting. Now it's not fully real-time retargeting because it has the same skeletal mesh, so we are technically not really fully retargeting, but we are following the rig of the parent you know, leader bone component, which in this case is the mesh. So we're copying all the bone positions from this mesh to the child. And that means that now I can go to the mesh, go and search for visibility and change the uh, visibility to disabled. But there's a problem. If we do this, you can see that it is not animating. Why? That's because the bones are not refreshing because it's not visible. So what we need to do is change this visibility base and name tick options to always tick post and refresh bones. That means that even though this parent mesh is not visible, it will update the bones and therefore animate the child mesh. And now it is exactly the same and we can go and pick up our sword and boom, we have it with the same socket. That's so cool, right? So I can also go pick up the armor and um, equip it, and there we go. It is working perfectly. Now, maybe we need some adjustments, you know, with the <laughs> armor, right? Maybe it doesn't fit correctly with the character, but, you know, this is just rescaling as one. And for now, I'm going to leave it like this, but you get the idea. Now we have this really cool character that I can go and equip whatever I like, right? I can put the shield, put the crossbow on, and it will look perfectly fine which is really cool and i can you know take on the thing and, and shoot and everything i don't remember right now actually the the, the key to keep the the bow but you get an idea everything will work and of course if i were to place this in our cool um desert environment it will look even better so that's it guys we found this so helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember you have full access to the product files through patreon or youtube members so check that out link in the description uh join my discord server to talk to me and to the devs follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye